Hi Felters and welcome. It's the 28th of April so I kind of put last month's makes out early but I shall show you why. So there we are, I've been doing my Patreon parcels. This is for the upper two, that's America, that's UK. Um, and I've also been filming my Highland cow head. So I've started and it's gonna take a while to do and to upload it onto Think Thinkific, but that's what I'm working on at the moment. Um, so yes, I know we're not quite in May, but it's still some of my makes that I'm doing, so I thought I'd show you. I am, it's um, in the evening, so it's the 28th, um, and I'm still doing my island cow head, which I'm doing the online course for, but in the evenings the light's not so good, so I can't really do the video for that, because I want the light to be really good. So I'm just making a sleeping highland cow for my craft fair coming up, so I'm making it out of this, it's called humbug finish uh, there we go you can see the color so i thought it was a nice color so it's humbug finish um sort of tops from world of wool and um that's the base i'm doing and i was struggling to, for the head color because um the head and ears kind of show a little bit so see that white any of the whites i have don't really go i didn't really have anything that color so obviously it was staring me in the face. I just took the actual wool and I carded it and it sort of mixes up to that colour and that will go perfectly. So if you're searching for the colour you want to go with something, just card it. So much easier. <laughs> there we go. I also um, the other day made these three and that they're a little set sleeping, sitting, standing, and it's something I've mentioned, so uh, we'll see what becomes of that. I can't tell you anything just yet, but that's something I'm developing. So I finished that little one there, very sweet, very pleased with him. I made this one, and I made this one on the end because I sold them all at my last craft phase, one of my sitting down ones. So definitely um, very popular. And then this is as far as I got in my Highland cow head because unfortunately I had Patreon, well, fortunately I had Patreon open, but also unfortunately I had my vaccine at the same time and I reacted. Uh, you know, I felt like I had flu all weekend. It was a nightmare. But anyway, I'll be getting on with that as soon as. See, I've got this little bit left from that. I'm trying to work out what to do with it. I might do something. Um, so I showed you those items, but also I just wanted to sort of talk through, this is the first time, and I've had this YouTube for a year, that I feel I am struggling to keep up with all the comments, not just with YouTube, but obviously with Patreon, with the Discord, um, with social media as well. This is the first time where I'm sort of thinking, oh, I just can't reply to that one quite yet. So um, it's interesting. You know, do we take on too much? I don't know. I believe in pushing yourself and working hard, um, but it's also working smart is the best way forwards. But anyway, yep, getting there. Hopefully get through the next few days and, and uh, see how it goes. I've just read this book, it's How to Be a Good Creature by Cy Montgomery. Um, I really loved the illustrations on the front, they're absolutely beautiful and they're embossed, so it's really pretty. Sorry about the jumping camera. But it's about her relationship with um, 11 different animals, and if you're an animal lover, you'll just get it. But really enjoyed this. Um, I just made uh, these two little ones, just trying to use bits of wool up. Really, really simple. So that looks like my baubles, but without legs. And then I was just trying to use the 
rainbow colours. You can see them a bit better there. So yeah, oh, it's tiny. And the little tail, so they're really sweet. So that's the kind of things you can do. I'm trying to use your wool up. So it's the 7th of May and I've just been doing my online uh, tutorial. I must cheer up a bit. <laughs> this is how difficult it is. But anyway, I've been doing my online course and I'm kind of really fed up with just editing, uploading, typing, and I'm only about a third of the way through. But so it's for this little guy and I don't know if you can see obviously his bigger brother but that's the one I do in the video but um, yeah it's kind of harder work than I thought putting it all together and it's quite draining I just want to do some felting really <laughs> that would be really nice so I might just break out and do some felting this afternoon but I'm getting there morning it's the 10th of May so I'm still cracking on my course, it's like all of my notes, all the editing and all the section and chapters for my course. I'm also making, because basically when um, it's uploading, when the video is uploading on there, I sort of have like 10 minutes in between and stuff like that. So I'm making this guy, it's just a sitting down, it's a commission sitting down Highland Cow. And this is the really sad stage, <laughs> they just look awful. So he'll look good. And there's his ears. But uh, someone's very chilled out with me. So in between making my course, I've made this chap. He's massive. He's about 11 inches high. So commission. I think I could probably just make tons of these and uh, do really well. But yes, yeah, so I've finished him and I'm very happy with him. He is lovely. They're lovely when, they're, when they come out really good. So there's the little one. There's the cow, there's a dead dog, she's had a good W-A-L-K, -okay. and I'm just framing out, oops, for my next horse commission, start adding on that in between, uploading, this is all my notes, for my course, so here's the next one, should be doing some more work on this. Hi everybody, so it's the 12th, still doing my course. It's a labour of love at this point. Sorry, I've just been hoovering. If I look a bit, a bit of a mess. Um, yeah, so still doing the course. So even once you have video do all, you think, oh great, a video do all. Then you've got to edit it all. Then you've got to upload it all, all the individual parts. And then you've got to do all the write up about your course as well. So it's still ongoing. Um, I'm also, just the horse that I was framing out is getting a little bit further along or this stage it just takes time it's going to be a really lovely well <laughs> hopefully it's going to be lovely dapple grey horse so that'll be really fun it's beautiful pictures of the horse that I've got so uh, yeah we're getting there with that but um I'll be so happy when the course is done um and then I can move on and I'm going to do something with that lovely earth let me get it with this lovely earth colour. It's going to be a Highland cow. I will start doing some other things, don't worry. But um, yeah, that's how we're coming along today. Lovely day out there. I'm going to walk the dog in a minute. So, um, I thought I'd take you on a walk. The rain is coming in later, so I'm out quite early. Well, quite early for me because of school run. Where's the dog? There she is. Um, yeah, we'll just uh, have a look round and I'll show you my countryside.
everyone so uh, my course launched I finally finished it as I told you and it launched three days ago I think and I've sold nearly 30 so for me I am over the moon about that I really can't be can't believe that, that many people would want to buy it and I've seen a finished Highland cow head already and it was stunning so that's the true sign of success to see that someone's made one and it just looked really really good so hopefully it's okay I'm obviously open to feedback from anyone about that so because it was my first course so I've done that it's a huge weight off my shoulders and it took me a lot longer especially because it was the first one so um, I kind of haven't done any really good YouTube videos for about two weeks so I am developing a, a pony bauble. I wanted to do a pony bauble. And in fact, I tried to do a pony bauble a while ago and it looked rubbish. <laughs> it was just so wrong. So I sort of researched the design a bit more. I'm just attaching the legs. I had a bit of a debate as to whether to put them underneath, sticking out or at the sides, or um, I was gonna do them maybe sticking out like that, but at the moment I think I'm going with that or I might do a mixture I might do a mixture of angles with the legs and then the main I think it might be that one or I've got another Crafty Fibres UK one which is beautiful so um, he's going to have a lovely tail and he's going to have a, a ribbon there and I'm going to do him in I think it really works when I do uh, versions of three so people can see the colours that they can do it and you know if they've got different colour wool at home they don't have to have a grey and yes yeah, so I'm developing him he's taking a while that's my next thing and um, I'm still doing <sighs> Mr Horse he's coming along slowly always looks funny it looks like his back's too long but actually I think it's okay but if it is you just do a bit of scrunching uh, felt over and, and it will look good in the end so um, prototype one done I think Got a bit, um, had to rework the fringe, forelock, sorry. But yeah, quite sweet. It's a pony. So I'm going to do another one. And then the third one I do would be the one for the video. There we go. Hi everyone, so this is me um, midway through filming uh, the little, sorry, excuse me, sit down. The little pony uh, baubles that I'm doing so the first one was this one they've got oh, I'll just show you there you go they've got little speckles on their bottom as well but um, that was the first one I did so that's always the prototype this one I do to confirm that it all works you can't yeah you can see um, and always in a different color and then this one is the one I always video. So this is my little video setup, cup of tea, because I always need a tea. But um, yeah, this is sort of all ready to go. And then I normally have something on at the side just to uh, keep me busy, just listening to a YouTube or something. So there we go. So this is my setup and this will be my pony video, which you guys will probably have seen. But, you know, it takes me a day and a half to make them all. And I like doing the threes now because I think it's really nice for people to see the different colours you can make things in and the variation. And then it'll take me another day to sort of edit. And then I'm going to have to film. Um, I always like to do a shot of my head at the beginning so people can see me. But I have to look presentable for that. Whereas right now my hair's filled, <laughs> my hair's dirty and we've walked the dog and everything. So there we go. This is my little filming setup. Hi everybody, so it's the 19th of May, just to keep you updated. So here are the ponies I did and they're the little baubles and people have been really pleased with them so that's fantastic. And I made this guy which is a Lincolnshire long wool and there is all like that, it looks a bit like, I think it's nice, I'm not sure. This has got a little nose sort of sticking out and this was using up my valet wool that I had sort of getting ready for my craft fair and he's based on very similar to my um, Highland cows um, but that didn't take me long it's really quite easy to be honest um, 
and then I've had a World of Wool delivery. So I've got some more of this um, Ice and Fire. I've got this colour, which is Hydra. I think I like it. I'll have a look at it. I've got some more Core Wool. And then I've got some three of these packs because I'm doing a competition on Patreon for my patrons and there's going to be three uh, winners or not really winners they're going to be pulled out of the bag for entering the uh, competition or the challenge that we're going to do for the month and then this here is um, on Instagram Michelle from Hebridean um, Hand Felts did a Instagram giveaway and I won and I can't believe it and um, I mean look her stuff is absolutely beautiful it's so gorgeous and she lives on the Isle of Skye and this is what I got look at that that is such a gorgeous card and there's a little note and here is the prize oh I can't do this one-handed so much tissue paper I'm going to have to put you down hang on keep going oh sorry people there he is he is adorable and i was so pleased he is a little brooch and let's just see so he's got a little pin button look at that little badge so this is hebridean hand felts and he's oh he's really well felted michelle he is absolutely beautiful i love him and i wanted to be all sweet and nice and say oh yeah no don't worry put it back in but i really wanted him <laughs> So naughty and I said yes I'm so happy Michelle thank you thank you so much she's absolutely beautiful I'll put her in the um, link below there we go well it's the 21st and um, I've got the in-laws arriving for five days so I'm probably not going to be able to do much felting but I just made this little one I'll show you properly turn it round so here he is, um, obviously based on my Highland cow head. I'm just getting ready for my craft fair. I love the colours on this one. Really do like them. Um, so on my Patreon, um, some of the ladies, because obviously this is Archie and I trim all of that, but several of the ladies had left it all long when they did the... Um, online course and I thought I'll give it a go so I am being inspired by my patreon ladies to do things and um I'll see how it goes see if people like it or not I don't know if the nose should be bigger I think it's okay make that a bit smaller maybe not sure I might trim around the bottom but try not to touch it but there we go so that's the next make so I am going to attempt to do um Harriet hair properly for Claire um, that's what I'm going to attempt to do over the next few days and I might show you a little bit of that and then we're getting towards the end of the month and um, putting this video together but obviously like I said I've got the in-laws here so I won't be able to do too much felting but the weather is miserable there you go miserable and raining everything's really wet out there um, so I might get a chance to do a little bit of felting. I've trimmed him up a bit, my little cow. Just think it just makes a little bit of a difference. I'm not sure. There we go. So he's still really quite long compared to Archie. But yeah, I've trimmed him up a bit. Here's the filming scene for uh, this one, which is actually... There we go. Let's put it in the light a bit better for you. Uh, next a bit long on this one it's going to be a little bit shorter there's the start of the one that I'm actually doing in the video um, it's I think it's more likely to be called Hetty hair um, I think Harriet the name Harriet was taken on um, Claire's crafts creates tutorial so I think this is going to be Hetty hair and we've got all the the little ones watching they're so sweet aren't they adorable Claire did these ones they're absolutely adorable I did that one um, so yeah, here's the filming, coming along nicely. This is the one we're doing. Carry on doing that, just so you don't think I'm not doing any work. I am working, it's just you don't end up really seeing this on my channel. So yeah, got to get this done. So here's my rabbit, all done for uh, Claire's Crafts Creates. And there's going to be a tutorial on her website and materials make it all easy and the tutorials really nice and lengthy so I'll be talking you all the way through it 
and how to do a lovely little hair. Here's my onlookers who have been helping. Um, and now I'm just going to edit that, do the voiceover, make sure it's all lovely and do some more for my craft fair. Okay, so craft fair, um, hiling cows because I've got to do loads. It's funny, the colours just, it, they aren't really, I wonder if it looks better by the window. It's really hard to get the true picture of the colours. But, um, yeah, I've done that one. I've sort of gone a bit mad. This is that. This is exactly the same as that one. Um, it's a great big one. He does look really good, but actually the colours look really muted. Yeah, it doesn't really pick it up. He looks good in person. And then I just did this little guy. Just quite sweet, just playing with the colours. So one, two, three. I'm just going to try and... Do a few more over the next few days. This guy's all finished. He's like a really fluffy, uh, black-faced, Scottish black-faced sheep. He has got eyes. <laughs> you can't see them. There they are. There we go. So he's super fluffy. And I did lots of leg markings, but then I go and cover them all up with this fluff. But never mind. So I think I have enough now for the craft fair. I'm feeling happy. Shelves are looking quite full all up the top there lots of cows that's why i did a sheep might do one more sheep that's it fell says that's most of what i've made this month and i'm really sorry i feel like it was just i've made this i've made that so um i hope i've managed to put enough in to keep you interested but anyway i'll try and do a bit more of the making of things as i go along next month um so i've got the craft fair on the 30th and i've got lots of other things planned i'm going to be doing sheldon's sheep um, at some point very soon so that will come out but um, let's have a look at your makes. So first up we have Heartfelted Animals on Etsy with Anne Marie Brown who contacted me and I think she has um, Instagram as well. She's got quite a few sales and she's got really good reviews. Look at the geese, the Canadian geese, beautiful, the llama, the goat. She does, there's a Highland cows. The dogs are really lovely as well. She does quite a few different breeds of dogs and look at that rooster. That is amazing and even that bird is beautiful so I think she's done some really good felting. She's got a sloth down there which is lovely. We're just going to go back up and look at what I think is hilarious and beautiful and a really good niche area. The felted flying hot pink pig and she does a couple of other flying pigs and I just think they're amazing, really good thing to do. And then I saw this review, look at her valets. A little mum and baby and then that's a little I think alpaca or llama there but aren't they lovely so um, Anne-Marie Brown absolutely beautiful fantastic really really good well done and then we go on to what Helen felt obviously with Helen Helen Simpson and look at these so beautiful owls but she does some um, Alice in Wonderland creatures and look at the rabbit and again the importance of the video you can really see the size and he is stunning. I mean, if you were a fan, this is beautiful. Look at the coat, the detail. I think these are really lovely collector's items. Look at that. And she's put the book out there as well. So that's worked really well. And then look at these other three characters. And again, we're going to go to the video because I just think it shows everything so much better. 
they are really well done look at them I just think they're fantastic faces are so hard to do and to get you know realistic looking so I think she's done a fantastic job well done Helen um, and we just look at a couple of other things as well great she's used all the photos on Etsy so that's what I like to see and then she's done a beautiful owl further down which I really really like because I can't do owls <laughs> So I'm very jealous that she's done some beautiful owls. I just think people love to buy owls. They're so graceful and, and look lovely way in which she's shown it off out in the garden. Beautiful log there. So these are really, really good. So fantastic. And then just to show you very quickly, you don't have to look, but she has done some zombies. <laughs> Wally the zombie, Dorothy the zombie and Marilyn the zombie, which I think were very unique. So well done, Helen. That's fantastic. And then lastly, we're going on to Grandma's Footsteps UK. So she's on Etsy and Instagram. She's also on YouTube, which I'll show you in a minute. And this is Wendy. She is in my Patreon and she has done, this is very recent, she's done one of my Highland Cows. Um, and look, I love to see the video because you can see this one's a little bit smaller than the ones that I do. But um, this shows the making of it and you can see all the hair. So that's really beautiful. But um, Wendy does some fantastic um, 2D pictures. This pig is stunning. And that price is for the framed picture as well. So, I mean, that's a really good price, Wendy. But that pig is gorgeous. It's such detail. Really realistic looking. And then we'll go on to her kingfisher, which is beautiful. The colours in the kingfisher are stunning. Um, and so she does videos on all of these. So if you want to have a go, see, this is her video that she's got on YouTube. We'll go and look in a sec. But if you want to have a go, she walks you through every step. Um, and her tuition is really good. So I really, really recommend it. Um, and she does some other lovely pictures and look at these little round ones that little duckling I think they're really good and she does cards as well and you can buy a kit um, and these are some of her animals she's done but her flat paintings are really stunning and I'm seeing more and more of them so this is YouTube 662 subscribers so she's doing really well it's picking up um, but yeah if you want to have a go at painting pictures with felt look she shows you all the way through how to do a beautiful sunset so these are fantastic worth doing Thank you for joining me, everybody. If you would like to be featured next month in my monthly makes, just send me. It's probably Instagram is best or however you can. Etsy, whatever, whatever way you can contact me. Um, that's it for now. And hopefully we'll see you all again soon. Take care.